Noah DC Tony. Arkansas faces a, a Tennessee team that comes out scorching hot, gets down by as much as 24, trails by 21 at halftime, and ends up losing 78 to 74 at Tennessee, where Tennessee has not lost all year. I'm Daniel Price. This is Jacob Price. I am this is Arkansas basketball recap. I can't even get my words out. That was so crazy. You know, there's a lot of games like where a team will get down by a crazy amount, like they did. You know, they were down by 24 at one point. And then the final score looks closer than that, but you're like, it wasn't that close. You know? Right. That is not the case in this game. Arkansas, I'm not gonna say they had a chance to win this game, but Arkansas had multiple chances to put this game into overtime. I mean, this game was on the line at the end. The last the last minute and a half, this game was uh overtime was most certainly obtainable, particularly when we got a stop, we got a rebound, you know, take out the ball and he just overthrew uh Devo. He should have he should have kept it, but I get I mean he saw him up there. It's I might have probably done the same thing. Uh you did uh, that although, was a bummer. You had a chance yeah. to tie or take the lead, and, and the momentum was all in Arkansas. Because I'll tell you what, in overtime, I like Arkansas's chances because we had all the mo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean that game was. I mean, ultimately, that sucked real bad. Uh, but it sucked in a multitude of ways. Um, first off, I mean the first half was. I mean, I'm going to be very negative here, but the first half was maybe the best, I mean, honestly, embarrassing. Like, I sometimes guys just make, like, and they did do this to a certain extent. It was partially that they got hot and they started hitting threes. We've talked about that before. Good teams can get buried by equal teams if you, if one team gets hot, especially at home. But a lot of that was bad defense. Like, a lot of those shots were what we were doing in the beginning of the year where we weren't making them dribble drivers. We were doing the, I'm kind of here, Oh, now I'm pretending to actually, and we've talked about it before. Like if your hands in the guy's face after the balls leaves his hands, you feel like you played good defense, I, but I do it doesn't. Think, I do think that Tennessee, they moved the ball pretty well. Um, the first half, uh, we, and partially because we weren't making the passing uncomfortable. And so we were, we were letting them kind of zip it around. And, you know, if you let a team pass the ball freely enough and you got some ball movement, which Tennessee does, it is it is easier to get guys open. It's not just about pressuring the shot, which of course you have to do. You have to make the passes. I mean, if you can make a pass just a little bit off where a guy still catches it, but it just disrupts the flow. Like you've really, you've accomplished something when you do that. And I think that we let the ball move too freely, uh, especially the first half of the first half. They, they were just kind of whipping that thing around. And you're like, man, get, get some pressure on those passes where, where you just throw the, throw the momentum i mean i mean if you if you let a team just zing the ball around you can run any play you want and plays work in basketball but they don't work if uh, if one little cog gets in the wheel and you got to be your defense has to be that cog even if it's not you getting a steal it's just you disrupting the flow of the offense you know make a guy make a guy fumble the the catch for a second and they have to reset that kind of stuff but if you're just letting them you know wing it around yeah, like you're gonna, someone's gonna end up getting a clean look, and you're gonna end up having to jump out. And and yes, you are right that even on the, some of the ones when they got that, our defense we weren't up in the shooters' uh, jersey enough. And then Arkansas just you know they didn't they they looked out of sorts. It was weird, you know. I think not having Tony just kind of running around. I think you could tell that we missed it. Uh, we and I think we definitely missed his defense because he has been guarding the other team's best shooters and stuff. And man, if we didn't appreciate his on ball defense before, uh, once they moved him sort of outside to do that, man, well, I, I, I forget appreciated it the first half of this game. Yeah. I mean, so they had a good game plan. Like, I mean, we, you could tell we were having a hard time. I mean, he's not, we, it's hard to stay in front of that point guard and you could tell they made a concerted effort, concerted effort to go, we're going to try to lure Jalen Williams. He wants to step up and play that, uh, you know, in between defense and try to drop the, you know, guard the big guy and then come over and stop the penetration. We're going to take advantage of that. We're going to make him come out and then 
because our guard can get around anyone on earth and at least get into the paint. We're going to make him step up and try to at least take that charge or cut that drive off. And we're going to pass to those big guys and hopefully get him in, you know, just at that spin cycle where he's turned mm -hmm. around trying to guard mm -hmm. too many things. And so good game plan by Tennessee. Their energy was great. Their defense was better than ours uh, for the first, you know, 15 minutes of that game. And they did, you know, just get hot because I don't care if you're wide open. They were shooting, you know, like friggin' 90 percent. And that's just uh, there's nothing you can do about that sometimes. All that being said, and I think we missed uh, we didn't play as good as we could have played. I mean, we missed free throws. We uh, made we took mostly we, you could just tell we were out of rhythm. We took terrible shots in the first half, dude. Like, we, we were also careless with the ball. Like, man, I think I look uh, here's one of the ways you miss Tony. I think we missed hit, hit him being like sort of the best rebounding guard that we have. I think we missed that. Uh, I think we missed him just being able to just all, all of the dives he does with the bat to the basket, all the movement at the ball. We missed that his on ball defense. We missed that. That being said, I, I like a lot of parts of KK's game. I like, I, he can shoot the ball, man. Like he can, he can hit threes. He can hit mid raise jumpers, but this is now I don't know how many times, but when he gets his opportunities, uh, look, man, I don't think anyone cares if you shoot the ball, shoot the ball. That's like the, that's what, that's the thing you're best at, but man, take care of the ball. I mean, there, we, we had some turnovers that we just were dude. They unpack. We had some turnovers on some stuff where you expect to get points or go to the free throw line in those situations. I'm talking about when you have numbers on a break, you can't throw the ball out of bounds. You can't dribble it off your hip. You can't do that. That that's the stuff you can't do. Like that that should be that that possession should result in points or a trip to the free throw line. It has to be one of those two things. And there were multiple times where this Chris Likes did it too. Um, multiple times. All of that being said, I mean, this game is so easy to just mail it in. I mean, just to say this, man, you know, hey, we're gonna lose to Tennessee at home. They haven't lost all year. Oh well, we're down by a bunch. And it's unbelievable that that didn't happen. I mean, I mean, the amount of fight, I mean, to, and, to, and they did it on defense. They didn't all of a sudden just get hot and start like making shots. Remember, they just locked down on defense. Their defense in the second half was, it was awesome. And that's a hard way to come back. And they were able to do it. Uh, I think that uh, uh, I think player of the game, I don't know, even in the, in the loss, even I thought Kamani Johnson was huge. In, in the first game. half, I mean, it sounds stupid because they were down by so much, but they'd have been down by 35 if it hadn't been for Kamani Johnson. Like, yeah. he was getting them three possessions on offense each time, which we needed because we were taking did, you know really, really, really ill-advised shots. Dude, he fouled two of their guys out. Well, and even though he didn't shoot amazing from the free throw line, he at least would prevent you from getting zeros on that end. Like, he'd get you every other – I mean, like I said, he just made their – lead expansion he he slowed it slightly you know what i mean where they weren't mm -hmm. just exploding and getting that head by 30 he would at least make it where now it's 18 he brings it back down to 17 by hitting one of those free throws and then they get a score 19 and then he brings it back down to 18 he made it a little bit difficult for them to run away faster than they were already doing no i thought his effort was great i thought uh he turned to i was thinking just for from his play because in the first half he was the only one that played decent you know what I mean? Uh, well, and he, and, and he drew so many, dude, like and he did that at the beginning of the second half too. I mean, he got, he, he got fouled so much and he was getting fouled. Yes. He was getting fouled when he'd get, you know, get a rebound and go back up with it. He would, he, they were fouling him just trying to keep him off the glass. And I don't know what it's like to play basketball against Kamani Johnson, but apparently it's extremely physical uh, because I mean, uh, they, they just, uh, uh, eight and in, in limited minutes, mm -hmm. you know, he was a leading rebounder. And I think he was a leading rebounder and he played limited minutes, but it, it just looks like, like it seemed like more than that. I'm surprised it wasn't like 15. Yeah. So, uh, Kamani Johnson, uh, yeah. Eight rebounds, uh, six points, one block, two steals. Uh, you know, the thing that was, the thing that was wild about it is he had eight rebounds. We had five offensive rebounds and mm -hmm. those were huge, man. Those were huge. Uh, Trey Wade rebounded the ball well down the stretch too. I mean, he was big. He had five rebounds. Three of those were offensive rebounds. Jalen Williams has seven boards, nine points. Um, so I, I, I thought I was really impressed with him. Um, just we needed somebody 
to go in there and make things difficult. And I think he just, I think he did do that. And, and even though he wasn't in the game at the end, without him, you are not in the game at the end as a team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually, well, there's so many things, different things to say to get back to it. What I meant by, by embarrassing is the first half, I'm sure you felt it too, but like, it was embarrassing because I've been complaining that nationally we're not getting respected and Tennessee is because we have two more wins than them. Same conference record, win head to head. We both have beaten Auburn. And it's like, how are we behind them? And I was in the first half, I was like, well, this validates the national polls completely because apparently they know something I don't know because it, it, to barely be able to beat them when they come to your house and then to have them spank you right out the gate when you're at their place shows to me that they're better. Uh, now I'm so that, and that being said, I'm glad that we made that such a game because at least it still in my mind makes it like, okay, you're even plus you could even, if you wanted to make an excuse, say, well, you didn't have one of your starters, Tony and Jalen Williams got an early foul trouble. Uh, but, but all, all of that, I give credit I, to Tennessee for that. Like they, I like, I like they, on a neutral floor. I like Arkansas. I think, I think Arkansas is better than Tennessee on a neutral floor with, uh, fully healthy rosters, neutral floor. I'll take Arkansas. Yeah, I think it's. I, I I would take us mostly because of the coaching. I think. Mm-hmm. I think Musselman uh, is grittier uh, and down the stretch. And like I said, I actually think he had us in position to win this game. And um, one mistake, uh, one thing I would criticize, and I mean, not he's he knows more than I do. I actually don't know why Likes was in there at the end on defense. I mean, if you wanted to sub him in to have another shooter out there or something, you know, doing defense for offensive substitutions, I don't know what he, he I, was in I, instead I, I of that, Devo. I did, I, yeah, I think that's partially just missing Tony. Um, I mean, I would, yeah, yeah, you did have Devo, but um, you know, it was weird. We were just short on short on guards, and and we were we were going to the free throw line a lot. Um, I think he also wanted shooters and, you know, likes can shoot, but, but Devo has uh, been shooting really well. This is the thing is Devo has been shooting. Well, he can get his shot way better than likes can as far as likes can get his shot, but he's so short that like a guy can recover pretty quickly. Devo can get a shot better. He's been shooting better than likes from the three point line. And if he's down there on that rebound, he gets that rebound. Mm-hmm. He was in a he was in a good enough position, and Likes was too. Likes is just too small. I mean, yeah. he literally had to undercut that guy because he could just reach over the top of him. I I really, I mean, let's say hindsight is definitely twenty twenty. But as soon as that foul was called, I was like, "Is Likes out there? Why is Likes out there at the yeah, end I'm, of the you, game?" On you might have you might have been trying to go. You might go defense off. I mean, Likes hits hit a, two big shots down the stretch. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, those are big. Uh, Mude hit a big one. No day hit a big one. He, he's probably just feeling it. I mean, he's probably just doing it by feel. Like feels like he's playing well. Um, that was that. That was a. I mean, and still, even. I mean, that was pivotal because instead of getting that rebound, they fouled. But then they did end up uh, missing the free throw. The front. He missed the front end of that. So that kept us in the game. But the really, we blew it when No Tay threw it out of bounds that was I, your, I that was your chance i think that was the chance i think i think it, this is going to sound weird but i think if you don't do that and you score there even if you just tie it up uh you go to overtime where arkansas wins that game yeah and honestly i hate to say this but like i actually surprisingly for as much time as we had as there was a couple of things where I was disappointed in our, our guy's ability at the end there. And it's hard. I mean, being very critical because they did a great job in coming back. Uh, and, most and, of and my, by the way, and by the way, even you're, you're saying you're embarrassed. I'm not after the game. I'm not embarrassed. In fact, I, I I'm actually, that didn't mess with my confidence <laughs> at the end of the game. My confidence is not shaken in this team uh, where I'm just like, they haven't, Tennessee hasn't lost a game at home all year. We're missing our bet, like, our best on ball defender. And had, make, mount this and crazy comeback based on defense and and just playing hard, you know. You're like neutral site games. Uh, I I feel I feel I feel fine about it. And by the way, I know that Tony was like questionable, and like they said that he probably could have gone. Uh, I I would 100 percent side with Mus on not playing him. Like if he's dinged up at all, sit him for this game yeah no I, I agree with that i wouldn't want him to 
you know, I mean, I, I would say the same thing about the SEC tournament. I would too. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, you see, in, in, the important thing right now is 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 the big dance. Yeah. Right I mean, if, if he needs more time, I mean, Mus, if you're listening, which I know you're not, if Tony's not ready to go, then don't worry about it. But what I was going to say is, at the end of that game, there were three things that positions that I was disappointed in, and I'm and like I said, I'm not blaming Musselman because possibly it wasn't executed the way those we had those long periods of review and then coming out of that we weren't able to use any of those to our advantage as far as by the way, by the way guys it. these are how difficult are these reviews yeah. get it we together had inter- man we had an interview or not an interview we had a we could have had an inter- could have had an interview a real long one <laughs> we had an inbound under the basket that resulted in a turnover and it's like Normally, with that big of a time left to think about it and to draw up a play, and like Jimmy Dykes was saying, like, oh, this is you might see a new inbound play. It's like, they, you can't even inbound the ball. Like, I don't, and, and I, I honestly don't think... throw the ball away at the end. Call a timeout. We've got a lot of timeouts. I mean, and this is Wade's fault. I mean, wasn't it Wade that threw it in, I think? And, um, and then so there was that play, which was a big play because we were on our, we, I think it was a four point game at that point. And instead of getting the ball, we turned it over. And then there was the likes fouling the big man on a rebound. And I'm like, I said, I'm not even sure why he was in. And then honestly, I didn't love there's 14 seconds left. Uh, I didn't love, I think that's how much time was. I didn't love that shot that, J, that Jay, I mean, I know it must've been must, must, must've been like, we're going for the three right now, but I felt like, yes, go for the three if you dribble up and can get a good one off and that's goes by feel, but I knew that wasn't going in the second. And that's not Jay. That's not how JD shoots. He shoots the step back and he shoots the, you know, walk into the shot and those are great. And sometimes he makes wild ones that are deep. He doesn't make, he's there's certain guys that do like Ray Allen or, uh, um, you know, Steph Curry that can catch the ball, be falling sideways with two guys on them and still make it. I've not seen JD be I, that guy. I would have he, prefer- makes, he needs his feet set at the very least. I would have preferred a, a driving kick. I think, uh, uh, you know, and honestly, if a 14 second step, if they let you get all the way to the cup, I don't even care if you just take the layup. But like, well, that's what I'm up. saying. There was just enough time that I don't mind taking the three because they are such good free throw shooters and they had all their good free throw shooters in there. I don't think taking the three is a bad time. You just, they just gave you two gifts by missing two free throws, the two front ends. So like you got to think that's not going to continue to happen necessarily. You might be able to get a steal, but you never know. But there's that four, there was just enough time that it's like, go down, take the three if you feel it. But if they guard it well and you don't have a clean look, don't just jack up yeah, a three, and, and, no matter what, like drive. We have enough time to drive and do this one more time. Um, and I just felt like for, I mean, you can't complain about no take. Cause he's like, like I said, he makes your whole team work, but I feel like at the end of the game, he has that mentality that he can just make anything. And sometimes he doesn't, I, I'm honestly, I've not seen him take a lot of good shots at the end of games. Well, he normally got, takes well, kind of a the- He's got the whole defense on him. It'd be that I see in that situation. Honestly, I would have used JD as a no, as a decoy. I would have made. I would have. I would have. I would have set it up to where he drove to put him so, day and and Devo in the corners. Yeah, well, I would have actually had him drive to intentionally draw a Mude's defender. Mm-hmm. I got. I actually think I would have drawn that up to try to get a Mude that shot. You, yeah, I, I would I would have tried so, to, I would have got the ball in JD's hands for sure. But then I would have tried and, to get him the shot. And say if that defender doesn't come over, I, I would have said if you get the a good look at a three, like if they go one on one with you and you can cross that guy over and get that step back, one hundred percent. If they double team you and you're gonna be shooting a falling down to the side through like let's not do that. Let's go ahead and when you see that second defender come, put your head down make him commit, kick the ball, or if he doesn't, we we have enough time to get that too. Anyway, all of this is... Shoot, dude, I, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd have... It's all hindsight because if he makes that, then, you know, Mus is a genius and he's the best player ever. So it is definitely... Dude, I would even do this. I would even... I would, I'm would. i even willing, just because I think the quality of the look is, is so important. I would have come up... I'd have had Jalen Williams come up, set that screen, and have have note use the screen and then and then pop out 
Because Jalen Williams should get that shot over just about anybody, especially on a switch with Note. Mm-hmm. I'll take it. I mean, I know he's a, a, shoot a, a crazy percentage, but but he's been clutch. I'll take that shot. Like, come and run a, a screen a screen and pop, you know, uh, do that, do a pick and pop with uh, with Jalen Williams. Do that. Do what you, you know, even and I'm not criticizing him, like, honestly, I think he's the best coach in the country, but uh, or, you know, what's stopping you from saying, all right, we got, we got time out here. We're trying to get a three. I'm going with Note, Jalen Williams, Connor Vanover, Stanley Amude, Jackson Robinson. I'm put. I'm putting no guys on the floor that can't shoot right now, and I'm gonna try to double double drop double, and then you can kick it out to anyone. It doesn't matter wherever mm-hmm. that double's coming from. That guy's shooting the ball. I mean, Connor can shoot a three over anybody at any time. <laughs> like, uh, I, mean, I know he's been sitting on the bench for you know six weeks, but you know, just just make the defense think about. It. Just be like, oh, well, we got five guys that can shoot this ball on the floor right now. Yeah, um, and I think I think another strategy could have been let's let's get an early three so just go down there and jack it up and everybody else no no taste taking the shot so but we're we're not he's he's likely to not make it but we're getting the rebound and put back that's we're going for the two but via the three by Mm -hmm. everybody else box out put kamani johnson in there put you know what i mean like that would have been but we didn't really do that either like there we didn't have guys in good position to rebound that shot because it was so quick um but uh, so, so what I'm saying is in that case, if, if you did what I was saying, then you would probably have Note hesitate just a second rather than grab it and run and shoot it. You know what I mean? You'd have him grab it, take one soft dribble, then take off enough time to get your guys all under the basket. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, but like I said, I don't like criticizing things after the fact because everybody can can sit there and be like, I didn't I don't like the way that turned out because you already know how how it worked. And the fact, the fact that he missed the shot. But um, yeah, the, the reviews were ridiculous. I mean, sometimes uh, I get yeah, the I fact didn't, that I didn't think any of them were that hard. Was the problem? Was it make, you're like, these that, that last difficult. one was absurd, dude? I mean, I, I, I'm not saying 100. I know it went off the Tennessee guy, but I'm saying 100 after two looks at it, you can go. There's no way you're overturning that. It's close. We called it this way on the floor. Also, it's not like if we get it wrong, three children are going to die it's like it's no, they just have, like, the game. let's call it on the floor let's get this thing going what is going on it's way also, too long dude if they if they even if they gave the ball back to tennessee they're gonna have like one second on the shot clock i mean yeah. I, I don't know what's going on but and, and yeah like you said you called it this way on the floor you knew twice after looking at it, like, you're not overturning that. There ain't nothing there. I could not believe after like two and a half minutes, and then like they'd cut to the reps, the and the guy would be like, one rep on, guy, I don't know, off. here, you, you look at it, and he's handing into the headphones to the other guy. I'm like, how many people need to look at this, and for how long? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyway, yeah. you know, I don't feel bad about this. You know, you you don't feel bad about the loss. Um, I don't know how this loss hurts you at all. No, I think it's, I mean, I think it's like we, we, you know, I mean, it's a bummer because it'd been nice to end number two in the SEC. Mm. That would have been nice. Um, I mean, I guess, are, what are we going to be split for number two now? Well, if Kentucky wins, we'll be fourth. Well, or will we be tied for third? No, if Kentucky wins, we'll be fourth. Well, why does Tennessee have, they don't have a, well, will, or will be, or will be, or ten, I get, no, 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 no. You're, you're right. Cause Tennessee yeah. has a better conference record. We have, yeah. we have two more wins than them. Yeah. Now we have one more. Yeah. It's going to, least... if Tennessee, if Kentucky wins, it's going to be Auburn, Tennessee, Kentucky, Arkansas. Yeah. I was thinking we'd be tied with Tennessee because we've split home and home and we uh, have one more win than them, but they have one more conference win. So they will be okay. number one, or number three. So that's a bummer to drop from two to, to four, but it doesn't um, really matter for the buys. You get the same. Does it really matter if you're playing Auburn, Kentucky, or Tennessee? And you know, if you make it to the, you know, to the semifinals, not really. I mean, like that. Like the, it does seem like the top four in the SEC. It's like whatever. That's all the same. Like there's well, not- the only the only reason it adds a little bit of uh, salt in the wound is I would say because we've been, in my opinion, disrespected nationally. This, at the very least, even if it's not fully justified. Uh, you know, justifies that that in the eyes of the AP and that if you beat Tennessee, they would have no nothing. I mean, they'd have to. They'd have to put you in front of them. 
and they'd have to rank you higher. And since they already had Tennessee as a three seed, they would have to put Arkansas at a three seed. Yeah. I don't and know. How, I don't know. That would be Arkansas. nice. Whereas now they could even put Arkansas at like a five, depending on what happens in the SEC tournament. Maybe I can't see our overall ranking changing. I don't. I don't see how it can. You lost by. Uh, I mean, you were you almost you were in a game on the road against a team. You're supposed like you're supposed to lose that game. But you know what I mean. Like they Vegas so, gave Arkansas a seventeen percent chance of winning that game. I mean, like I, I don't know. You know if the blowout had continued. I think that'd be different. But like I don't know. Like that's not. I'm not saying we're gonna fall, but I'm mm-hmm. saying you you're not gonna get because you they had in my estimation slightly over uh ranked tennessee i'm not even saying that they've under ranked you know that they've i just think tennessee it's wild that they're in the top like they're a number a three seed and arkansas is not even a four seed and if you beat them it forces them to have to put arkansas into that place where tennessee mm-hmm. was and now they can kind of put arkansas anywhere you know four five six and they can do what they want kind of um, and they'll probably have to keep Tennessee right up there at three. Now, now, maybe I'd like to play Tennessee again in the tournament and beat them on a neutral floor. That'd be nice. Uh, although I'd rather win in the big dance yeah. I'd rather, than anything in the SEC tournament. But I don't know. It'll be exciting to see what happens in this SEC tournament. Yeah, and ho- And hopefully – Tony is just kind of dinged up and he's going to be fine because that will hurt. Mm-hmm. That's not going to work for the, for the big day. No, we said right? that, we said that last time. I mean, dude, I mean, I am doing my Hail Marys and rubbing my rosary beads because of how tight our, like we can't afford anybody to be out. I mean, maybe likes or, or, you know, if Van overturns his ankle, but I'm saying of the starting or of the, official like kind of seven guys you don't you can't win if any of those guys get majorly hurt not not that you can't win you can't go on the run that i would like to see in my wildest dreams you know what i mean it's hard yeah. to expect that if, if obviously williams and note but even I mean, if right the way mude has been playing too like mude can't we, get we hurt Devo, Devo can't get hurt tony can't get hurt no you can't have any of those guys get hurt you'd, you'd really like to wade you know, way not to get hurt. You still need it. Like you need him. Uh, you gotta have some, I mean, you can't, everyone can't play 40 minutes. You're going to file out. Like, you gotta have somebody coming in. And also uh, one other thing I, I, I thought of, uh, I remember thinking this when it was happening is I'm afraid Williams and I think he's smart enough that I think he'll figure it out, but I do feel like something's happened where he's so good at drawing those charges, but now he's kind of hunting them and he's attempting to get ones and this is like, it's subtle because like how he, you can't tell him to not try to do it. Cause it's like, you, like we said, it's a huge uh, part of his game. Um, but he needs to be careful now because he's starting to try to get ones that he really has no, like he's just putting himself in danger. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they're, and sometimes they're not even like, they're not, it's not like, you can understand it more when it's like the guy got around his guy and now it's either give up the layup or try to get the charge some of these aren't that they're like the guard driving deep on the sideline and not even trying to protect a layup just trying to like step in there and take away what will eventually be like probably a pivot dribble kick out or something like that and he's trying to slide into some weird ones where i'm like you can't just try to get every time somebody comes into the lane sometimes you just need to because i I wish i had a little monitor to do the replay that i'm talking about but one of those ones he picked up where it's like all you have to do is stand there like and that guy there was a smaller it wasn't the shortest shortest guard it was the other guy but it's it's like he's not going to shoot that over you or if he does then you just have to shake his hand and say okay you stop you did stop the dribble drive and you protected it but now he's like as the guy tries to like go the other way he's trying to slide into him it's like if it's layup or that maybe but to just do it because you're trying to get one uh, like a freebie is too risky for him. I, you know I, I, mean? I think he, I think he, he kind of stopped doing that the second half. Honestly, like he, he seemed like he walled up a lot more the second half. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think he'll, I mean, he's so smart. He'll figure it out. He'll definitely figure it out. It just felt like maybe he's getting a little bit addicted to it and a little greedy. On I do, by those. the way, I do like Jalen Williams taking other guys, big guys off the drive. I like it every time I see it. Like they, they end up, fa- he, end up, he, they end up he ends up either scoring or getting fouled or both. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he's, he's, he's quick uh, for his size and, and, he, and he handles the ball well for his size. I mean, uh, put that thing on the deck, man. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm I'm for if I, if other team has a big guy that's guarding Jalen, uh, every once in a while I want to see you guys just spread the floor and let him just take him one on one because I don't think there's a lot of big guys that can guard Jalen if you spread the floor and then I'm try to take him off the dribble. Yeah, because generally when he does that, by the time he takes one dribble, puts his back to the guy, when he goes to do that other turn, usually there's like two or three guys all around him, and he still generally gets it up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, if you can isolate him, I feel like he'd be money a lot. Yeah, I, I yeah. actually I do like that too. Um, and actually, I, I was a little bit frustrated because that was one of those things I wish they were. That was my biggest gripe, and what I say by embarrassing in the first half. And like I said, I'm not embarrassed of our team. They they played really hard, but that first half, I was like, this is humiliating because they weren't calming down. And you know, when you're when the game's starting to pull away, like they're they've got a 15 point lead, and you can tell they're hot and the crowd's in it you need to get a good look. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, you know, even if it's like, let's get a good one. And instead of like hitting Jalen at the top of the post, letting him make, you know, letting some cutters work, letting him either dribble drive or make a good pass, set a screen. We were, we'd had like a mood aid making turnaround or trying to turn around 17 footers. And it's like, if you're, if the game's close, you can take one or two of those shots, but sometimes you can feel the crowd is trying to avalanche on you. Yeah. They're looking for that miss. And it's like, you can't take a low percentage. And, and I know Amude can make hard turnaround jump shots, but he doesn't make them at a high percentage as high a percentage as you make Jalen Williams layups, you know what I mean? Or, or note drives. You're not Tamar DeRozan. I mean, like, I know there's certain guys that make those fadeaway shots like layups. And Amude is, there's a difference between being capable of making a shot and it being a shot that you want to take at this Uh, moment. I'm fine. You take that shot when the shot clock's at two. It's fine. Or even if it's like you're up, it's a close game and and it's early. And, Or, or if you're just, or if you're just so smoking hot that you can't miss, then I'll like give you a pass. Right. I mean, and there were several of those. It wasn't just him. Likes took a really bad, like, I, I it's so weird to me. To, like, I know you can't, I know in, in games and pickup and in practice and when you're shooting around, you've made that 17 foot baseline fadeaway, but it's like, it's just not a good shot. It's not a high percentage shot. Yeah. Try yeah. it, try it 25 times. Tell me how many times you make it. Yeah. It's going to be three. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, I know you can make it and it's crazy when you make it, but like, it's not a good shot. And uh, we took way too many of those, those in the we just, first we just half. Got, we, just like, got, we just got in a hurry because you were down, we were down by a bunch. We thought we had to pick it. That, that, that happens. Like you, you think you got to make it up. Uh, the, the clock is your enemy. And so you just start shooting early and, and you're trying to, start, like, we just got to get the ball up. Got to get the ball to go through the basket. And yeah, no, that's you let not, them let, make you panic. You know, yeah. and, and we were playing, we were playing panicked in that. I'll, first I'll half. say this, this might, and maybe this is wrong, but uh, maybe we'll close with this. Um, I would be more concerned if I was Tennessee's head coach, I'd be more concerned if I was Rick Barnes than if I was Eric Musselman right now. And if this would have gone the other way, if Arkansas was up by 24 and that's how it turned out down the stretch, I would actually have more criticisms of how that yeah. game went. Mm-hmm. Uh, because that's got to worry you because, well, because you, the, you, Tennessee... you shot you shot the hell out of the ball, and the, I mean you, I mean I think they were eight of nine from the three point line at one point, and you ended up in a dog fight down the stretch. You're not going to do that every game. It's not going to happen. I don't care. I don't care if the defense isn't doing what they want or not. You're not going to do that. That's that's still that's still hard to do. That's hard to do wide open with nobody around you. So, um, you know, I think that it's, uh, I, I think there's a lot to be, um, happy about if you're Arkansas, uh, and if you're Tennessee, it's good that you won and everything, but that would worry me that you, like, that you gave up that kind of lead. Like, that's, 
that yeah, would, that I would mean, worry me if I was Arkansas to give that kind of lead. And and not to take anything away from Arkansas, I think they you know they did what I wanted them to do in the first half and the second half, which is they won with you know rebounding, grit, being just attacking from the free throw line, getting fouled, playing tough. But and it's not necessarily a complete knock on Tennessee. It's always hard when you run someone off the court in the first half. It's just very difficult to keep your energy level up when you're up 22 points. You know what I mean? Like you can't play. I don't care who you are. You cannot play defense as hard when you're up 20 as you do when you're tied. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so part of it is just that letdown where it's like it's impossible for the team that's ahead to play as hard. Uh, but like I said, not taking anything away from Arkansas, I still think it's a, a joke if you, you know, it's not a good thing for your team if you give up a 20 point lead. Yeah. And the other team has a, not only has a chance with the ball with 40 seconds left to tie the game and throws it out of bounds instead of, you know, making it. But uh, anyway, yeah, disappointing, but I, I didn't, ex- I actually didn't expect to win that game. Yeah. Um, I was freaking out at the end. I thought I was like, if we win this game after that, winning that LSU game, that'll just be a joke. <laughs> Two games in a row that it's like, how in the world did we win? Yeah, that? I mean, if we had won that game, it'd have been more than more incredible comebacks I've ever seen. Well, yeah, they said like we haven't, we it wouldn't hasn't happened in like a decade. So yeah, yeah. But. All right, man. Well, we'll leave it there. The uh, we'll be back next week uh, to when the Hogs face off against we don't know who in, in the SEC tournament. All right. Sounds good. Should be fun. All right, man. See you. See you. Bye.